start mixing everything into the bowl. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put the spices in there. You can put one or two jalapenos and I also have some red onion in there because I really, really love red onion. Minced garlic. Two tablespoons of chili powder and I will have the ingredient list on the description. And then um, some cilantro. It could be like one bundle or half a bundle. And four tablespoons of lemon. I only have a little left, so I'm just going to put the rest. So that was about four and a half tablespoons. Put some pink salt. Can't forget to mention that. And you can add crushed pepper to taste. And I'm just going to mix it up. And it stays uh, pretty thick. It's not like a saucy marinade. And I have made this before. And I thought it wasn't really going to stick. But I made this before with steak. This is my first time doing it with chicken. Now to prepare the chicken. So a lot of new friends that I made have been doing meal prep and chicken. And they have a problem with the chicken being dry. And... I get that problem too. I'm always looking for new ways to prepare the chicken so it can have like a, a long lasting flavor, not dr like a dry flavor like chicken can give you, especially chicken breast. So I'm gonna get the mallet and I'm just gonna give it a couple of pounds. Not too much. I've seen some people just even give it some slices with a knife, but I've been going uh, to the mallet more than anything. Now that I have that, I'm just gonna add it to the marinade. You know what, and I probably just need to do it little by little. And I'm gonna let this set overnight. I'll cook it tomorrow. So that's why I'm gonna be trying a lot of marinades. Okay, I'm gonna wash my hands and then put saran wrap on there. And I usually wear gloves when I'm doing this, but I ran out. But this is just for me and my husband just to try out, so it'll be fine. This is going in the fridge, and I'll cook this one tomorrow. Next recipe, I am just going to do one chicken breast cut in half. Put the saran wrap over it. Tenderize it a bit. Okay, and this next marinade is actually really simple. We're going to do it a little different. This time we're going to put it in Ziploc bags. Well, before I do that, we're just going to get plain lemon pepper. Whatever you prefer. And you can rub it in there if you want. I mean, it's been beaten. Really get it in there. I'm going to turn it to the other side. Pour the rest of that lemon pepper in there. Put it into a bag. Let me wash my hands again. Okay, this is why my hands are always really dry. Okay, and I have some lemon there. We have one tablespoon, two. I think two tablespoons would be more than enough. And if you want, at this time, you can add a jalapeno. Just gonna throw that on both sides. Get some lemon in there. Both sides. There we go. This will be cooked tomorrow as well. I'm going to wipe down the bag because I just had chicken on it. I'm going to have to go clean it under the sink, dry it up with some paper towels, and put it in the fridge. And then I will... Okay, I'm gonna put these two 
Well, before I touch it, I'm just going to do zesty Italian dressing. And it is used as a marinade or dressing. This happens to be mine and my husband's favorite right now. So we're going to put about that much in there. That's about two to three tablespoons. Push it around and let it marinate overnight. I gotta go wash this bag and dry it. Okay, I have the oven going at 375. I'm gonna pop these in for about 35 to 40 minutes. And I have jasmine rice going, quinoa rice, and some veggies for some meal prep. And this is it. That's the cilantro and lemon with mixed veggies that has bell peppers, peas, broccoli, carrot. Then we have the lemon chicken with broccoli and zesty sauce sprinkled on it or drizzled on it and then we have the uh, zesty chicken and jasmine rice white jasmine rice with mixed veggies and this is the only one with quinoa in it and everything else is jasmine rice so that's mine and my husband's meal prep for three days for lunch